Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode. Hope you are doing great. The mission of this channel is to spread awareness and moving in that direction. Today, I'm bringing a very important and critical topic, the future of human civilization. So in this video, based on facts, we are going to see how human civilization has evolved over the years, how it is evolving now and where it is going to be in the future. Is it heading towards prosperity or is it heading towards a point where it will be impossible for humans to sustain and the end of human civilization will start? Let's see all the answers unfold. Before moving forward, if you are liking our videos, please help us spread awareness by sharing this video with your friends and family and support us by subscribing to our channel. It is estimated that modern humans are present on the earth for more than 200,000 years. But 99% of the technological progress has been made in the last 10,000 years. That means in just 5% of our time on earth, we have made 99% of the progress. Moreover, out of that 99% of the progress, most of the progress has been made in just last 200 years. For example, in 1820, 94% of people were living in extreme poverty and now that has been declined to only 10%. Also, 200 years ago, only 12 out of 100 people were able to read, but now that number has increased to 85. If we talk about traveling time, it has been tremendously reduced. In 1917, it took 5 days to travel from London to New York, which now takes only around 8 hours. And if you look back just 10-15 years, after the advent of internet, humans are making progress at an unprecedented rate. You can see that it is easier than ever to talk to someone who is on the other side of the planet. With the help of artificial intelligence, it has been successfully demonstrated that human life can be reprogrammed as we know it. Robots are becoming part of human daily life and so many technological advancements. So you can see that we have made tremendous progress in recent years. Which is great. I mean awesome, right? But while progressing with high speed, it is very important for all of us to understand how our actions as humans have impacted, they are impacting and they will impact the whole human civilization. As historian Arnold Toybee concluded, great civilizations are not murdered, but they kill themselves. It is not what we are doing now, but what we have been doing for a long time impacts human civilization. If you look into the past, the disastrous events humans have seen are nothing but mostly occurred due to long-term human activities. For example, World War I and World War II. Both of these wars caused tremendous amount of loss to the world. Millions of people lost their lives and thousands became homeless. Countries like Japan lost everything in the war and it's still facing the health issues arising due to nuclear attacks the US did on Japan 60 years ago. On the other hand, in the last couple of years due to climate change, huge fires erupted in Australia, California and even in the Amazon rainforest which is one of the wettest places on the earth. These fires were burning for months, killing people and disturbing the ecosystem. If we keep on ignoring these alerts given by mother nature, it will not be long when the earth will be uninhabitable for us and human civilization will end. After Australia's bushfire, as per a research published by the Australian Defence Forces, human civilization could end by 2050 only, that's just 30 more years. Now, let's look at the human activities that have been going on over a couple of decades impacting the future of human civilization and what we can do to avoid them. First, let's talk about climate change. There are so many reasons like years of industrialization, deforestation, increased human activities like increased population, urbanization, they are resulting in climate change. Because of these actions, lots of greenhouse gases are being released into the atmosphere which absorbs the heat and keeps our atmosphere warm. Global temperature has increased at an average rate of 0.07 degrees Celsius per decade since 1880. But it is very shocking that the average rate of increase since 1981 is 0.18 degrees Celsius, which is more than twice. Not only this, but all of the 10 warmest years have occurred after 1988 and surprisingly, 9 of those have occurred after 2005. So you can see that in just last 40 years, by our actions, we have doubled the global warming rate and we have had 9 warmest years in just last 15 years. That is really very concerning and a big thing for us to worry about. Climate change will not only make the atmosphere warmer but it will also affect our food supply as due to increased temperature it will be harder to produce good quality food. This will affect our health as you have seen over the last couple of years many people are losing lives due to increased temperatures. Increased temperatures are leading to snow melting resulting in rising sea levels which can cause floods and many countries like Maldives will go underwater. Another very important thing is tremendous technological progress and the risk it possesses for future human civilization. Even though over the next few decades, technological advancement will help humanity greatly, they also pose potential risk to human civilization. 
unprecedented technological advances have the potential to cause loss of lives on a very large scale. These may be more difficult to control than nuclear weapons. As to make a nuclear weapon, you need expert scientists, billions of dollars and so many other things which are not easily available. But because of technological progress, it is easier than ever for even a small country or terrorist group to create technological devices that can cause major global problems. Even an individual can use 3D printer to make guns and rifles at home easily. Also, bioengineering or synthetic biological devices are used for medical treatments. But the same technology when in the wrong hands can be used to create viruses like the one we have right now, coronavirus. You know that pandemics like Spanish flu, malaria and smallpox have killed millions of people around the world. And using this technology, terrorist group can create viruses that can kill millions and billions of people. Another threat is AI, that is artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is the ability of a digital computer or or computer controlled robot to perform tasks commonly associated with intelligent beings like humans. It basically means a robot with its own brain which learns and improves by itself. As per AI experts, there are 10% chances that AIs will take up most of the human jobs in the coming few decades and those chances will be 50% by 2050. In the near future, such AI machines have the significant potential to damage or even completely destroy human civilization. Also, in order to fight problems like climate change or global warming, Humans have developed climate engineering or geoengineering. Simply it means artificially modifying the Earth's atmosphere so as to reduce its temperature. But as per some research, its consequences are not fully understood and the use of this technology can cause potential catastrophic effects like acid rain, ozone depletion and even rapid increase in temperatures reversing the effect. As per new study, this could also cause severe damage to wildlife, forest and water resources. Another thing is, as we progress into the future, we would need more electric power. Power. Even if there are many opportunities to supply the ever-increasing need for electric power through renewable energy sources like solar and wind, most of the countries use nuclear power plants as they take small space and are considered safe for environment. But let me tell you, they are not really safe when you consider the processes associated with them. In order to operate nuclear power plant, uranium is required which needs to be mined and refined that emits carbon dioxide. Uranium mining also possesses risk of lung cancers to the mine workers and many die every year. After the uranium is extracted from the mines, these mines are abandoned which are full of radioactive materials. As uranium is finite, some of these nuclear power plants use man-made plutonium which possesses the risk of nuclear war as plutonium in the wrong hands can be used to make nuclear weapons. The biggest potential risk of a nuclear power plant is the meltdown. You might know the nuclear meltdown of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986. It killed around 100 people directly and indirectly it has affected thousands of people. The place is still highly radioactive even after 34 years. Even with all these disadvantages, you will be surprised to know that there are currently more than 50 nuclear power plants under construction and more than 100 are planned to be built in the coming years. There are many other human activities that are putting human civilization at greater risk like pollution of land, air and water, overuse of plastic, changing food habits and many more. So you see how we have messed up everything. Now let's talk about what we can do to save ourselves. As per experts, there is only one way to save human civilization and that is to be like Elon Musk. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, it would be great, but not everyone can do that. But whatever we do, we need to act now and act fast. We must change our habits and behavior to protect nature. We must adopt sustainable solutions like electric cars, solar energy and recyclable products. Governments should bring in stricter environment friendly policies like banning the use of plastic, using renewable energy energy resources to generate electricity. And as the great scientist Stephen Hawking suggested and Elon Musk is doing, we must try to colonize other planets like Mars as option. So that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoy this episode all the best. Do let me know in the comment section what do you think about this video. If you like this episode, please leave a like and definitely share with your friends and family. And do subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys, bye bye, take care.